you're going for that lush, bountiful, sexy look. Oh my goodness, is this really Gabor? I just really gotta check the box, right? It's uplifting, all right. <laughs> Three brand new styles by Gabor in their luxury designer series. We're gonna check them all out today. Three brand new styles by Gabor actually remind me more of Raquel Welch's because of these lush densities, this beautiful heat friendly fiber, the upgraded cap features. They're absolutely stunning and there's something for everyone for this collection. Remember, you can find these at Wig Studio One. If you go below the video and expand the description box, there'll be an attached link. If you click on the link, it'll take you out to the site. You can see all of the colors and the pricing of these styles. So let's start out with Alluring Locks, a long, lush, wavy style in the color GF 1125SS that is shaded Honey Pecan. And that is a legacy Gabor color now available in the True to Life fiber. All three of these styles are gonna be made from that heat friendly, true to life fiber. And I adore this color. It starts with a light to medium, golden brown, and then you have some very pale golden blonde highlights. It's not too warm. It's beautiful with this all, all this dimension and it has a nice little darker root. It's hard to tell sometimes with the root because it's only slightly darker and it gives, it just sets off all this dimension. They bring the highlight right up to the front. It frames and lights up the face. So right away in the front, we're looking at about a 10 inch piece. And then overall, I am estimating 16 inches and that is just going into that long length. I love a 16 inch style. It gives you the ability to do some updos without being too cumbersome of a style. Now the density is lush. It is a heavy density. It weighs about five and a half ounces and it does feel a little heavier on my head compared to other styles of this length. But again, they're going for that lush, bountiful, sexy look. The Sides just coil back and away from the face right out of the box. I have done no styling on this whatsoever. Now this one features in that designer series, an extended lace front, extended left monofilament side part. Let's get up close now that we have seen the color. So they're knotting every other hole or so. They're bringing the highlight right up, which really softens the root and makes it a beautiful natural look. Inside, look at the cap for Alluring Locks. This cap is different from the other two. It's still in the Luxury Designer Series, meaning that there are some upgraded cap features. You'll find an extended lace front, a seam joining the single monofilament top, very fine knotting process, a closed velvet ear tab, open wefts on the sides and the back, and then you have a felted nape with Velcro style adjusters. You notice that I had to crisscross the adjusters to accommodate my petite average circumference. All of the wig lines are obscured and it looks absolutely beautiful if you want to style it away from the face. It just flows. This fiber is soft and it's hard to say. I mean, it doesn't feel like a sticky, heat-friendly fiber to me that I can sometimes feel in the Raquel Welch. This one is a drier type fiber. I don't know if it's just this brushed cut here uh, or what, but it feels fantastic. And you will find some permatease here. You're gonna find permatease on the top all around that monofilament in the back. Uh, some at the nape. Now it's not overly done. You can get a little bit of volume that should be sustained, that sexy volume. Gorgeous, absolutely drop dead, stunning. So the next one we're gonna take a look at is a really short style. There's a long style, a medium length, and a short one, something for everyone in this collection. This is so uplifting. That's the name of it. it. It's in the color Iced Sweet Cream. Now this Iced Sweet Cream is not rooted, okay? It is GF 1622, Iced Sweet Cream. We're gonna check it out. It looks like a short little layered style. And again, I did take it out to inspect it and remove the tags for us today. But that is all I have done. And we're gonna take a look, but let's marvel first of all at this layering. Look at these layers, all these plated layers all the way back. That gives it that feathering action of a shag. What we love about the shags with all that layering. It's also been taken down on the ends. That color, it's ash blonde 
with a toned white. And so it almost makes that ash blonde look a little warm. It doesn't have any real warmth to it at all. This is a super cool color and it is not rooted. And so let's talk about the fit. This is a great time to talk about this fit. Gabor's usually fit me average to average large. Okay, I always have to make a major adjustment on a Gabor style to fit my petite average circumference. This is true with these three styles. So there's a lot of stretch. It's large on me. I had to cinch in everything as far as it could go uh, to accommodate a petite average circumference. So I feel like if you're used to the Legacy Gabor fit, you will be pleased with this fit as well. So there's that extended lace front. It does go back through the ear tab. A nice closed ear tab here, long, sturdy stay. That opens up into a left monofilament lace part that goes all the way back to the crown. About an inch to an inch and a half parting space throughout that monofilament there. Fine knotting process as well. Sometimes it's hard to tell when it's a really light color. You have an extended felted nape with the Velcro style adjusters. Don't we love that? This is a comfort cap is meant to be one of the best caps that Gabor makes. And again, I really feel like it reminds me more of a Raquel Welch. It's uplifting, all right. <laughs> Look at all this volume and height you can get. Now, you can subdue that very easily because as I took it out of the box, I always just shake it before I apply it. And then I run my fingers through, wake up any permatees. Wow. That's cute, isn't it? That reminds me a little of the Captivating Canvas by Raquel Welch that came out last year, and I adore that style. Beautiful lace front feature there. The fringe is about four and a half inches. And there's about five and a half inches right off of the crown. And that spreads all the way on all sides of the crown. So it's a longer layer on top that comes down into a three inch nape. Now that nape, if you're afraid of short styles because of a short nape, this nape is ample to cover up. I would say just about any hairline. Look at all this graduated layering. And again, I feel like that layering is just kind of plated back through there to where you're getting that feathery look. The density is very light. Uh, there is some permatease on the top around that monofilament, right at the crown area. None on the back, none at the nape, none at the ear tab because it has that more of that sculpted tapered look. So we're getting somewhere we need it. Um, now I have a little feeling that I caught a glimpse of some wefts through this. Now it could be because of the color, number one, it's easy to see through a light color like this. There is a cream colored cap as we discovered, um, but still I can see through a little bit, get, catch glimpses of the wefting. I could cure that by putting on a wig liner, like a cream colored wig liner before I apply the wig. That would help cut down on the obvious look of the wefts. Um, but I think because they have texturized this so much in the back and it's such a light density that we do run the risk of being able to see through to wefting. So if that's a concern for you, I would buy a rooted color or a darker color. Okay, on to the next one. How stinking fun is this one? This is Beaming Beauty in the color GF1923SS, which is Shaded Biscuit. Oh my goodness, is this really Gabor? I just really gotta check the box, right? So as you can imagine, I am blown away by this style by Gabor. Gabor and Raquel Welch sometimes really surprise me with coming out of the comfort zone a little bit into something like this. And this curl is done beautifully. So this is a choppy separated spiral curl with uh, some texturized layering and that graduated step down look. Not too dramatic, however, but you know, this one has a really heavy density, whereas some of the Beltrust styles are more light density. I think it really works though with this style, just like with Alluring Locks, it brings out the lush beauty and shape and it moves like an absolute dream. And again, this heat friendly fiber, wow guys, I really feel like they're stepping up their game. Uh, it doesn't feel to me like a heat friendly fiber of old, 
It is a more modern, upgraded fiber. So in addition to that seven, seven and a half inch bang area, we're looking at overall right around 12 inches, 12 to 13 inches. Okay, so it's firmly at or above the collar on a lot of you, and it features some rounder volume, okay? So the permatease level here isn't bad at all. There is some permatease, but it is not thick, pillowy, or restrictive. It doesn't feel too heavy on the head. I am gonna say you can still get an ear tuck. You may need a pin to keep it back there, but you can definitely get a nice ear tuck, a nice looking ear tuck. This one has that extended lace front and left monofilament side part, open wefted sides and back, just like we saw on the other cap. And this is how it arrives right out of the box. So all I did was, you know me, I just swept those front pieces out of the eyes and it just kind of gradually parts there and it stays out of the face nicely, I think. So let's go ahead and look at these side by side in both indoor and outdoor light. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon, right back here at Taz's Wig Closet.